Everything happens for a reason. <laughs>
Look, I don't know. I just don't want to owe him any money. You know how men are. All right, well, you still got my information, right? Yeah. Just send me your cash app and I'll see what I can do. All right, thank you so much. Look, I promise I'm going to look out for you as soon as this takes off. That's fine. Um, I just need my dad pull in and he's not supposed to be here. So let me see what's going on and I'll talk to you later. Right. Thanks again, JJ. Love you. Wait a minute. Afternoon, sir. Who's that? Just some girl selling insurance. James, come on and help me clean. Junior will be home soon. And you know, he didn't want me to tell you, but he's bringing his new friend with him. I think her name is Dee. Dee? That's a dumb name. What kind of name is that? Dee. Dee. Hush. You know, I hope she's nicer than that last girl he brought up in here. I mean, she was nice and all, but she had that certain look about her. You know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Now, you know I expect certain things from my baby boy. And for him to bring a girl home that looks like that, then, you know, I'm not racist or anything. But if she can't use my comb, then don't bring her home. Oh, James, he's here. And? Did and? you bring that girl with him? No, he's by himself. You know, I think he said that she was coming later, going to a concert or something. Oh, that's disappointing. I gotta get out of here. I got things to do. I have stuff that I have planned. I wanted to. Don't be like that. Your son loves you, and you love him. And the two of you just need to stop with this mess. My son, I got him a job, and he, all he wants to do is go to New York. I would be no. happy if you'd been working across the street he, at Jack in the Box. He provides for himself, and he's a handsome boy. Stop that. I want you to be nice so that we can get some grandbabies. Hey, come on in. Look at you. Mm. <laughs> so good to see you. Hey, some belong on the floor, yo. I'll take this. I'll take this. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Uh, you must be so tired. Go on in there and have a seat. And I've got dinner cooking for Grandma, but there's plenty. And I made your favorite pumpkin pie. Okay. Thanks, Mama. I love that. <laughs> Dad. James. When are you leaving? As soon as I can. Good. You want a drink? No. You mean no, sir? That's right. You like that fruity, fuzzy, naval type mess, huh? Huh? So how's work going? Is that where you met this new one? D? Yes, sir. Is she pregnant? No, sir. Then why are you bringing her into my house? It's been a long time since I've been home. Plus, Mom told me that you had cancer. Yeah, Mama ain't got nothing to do with why you do what you do. Be a man and tell me why you bring this stranger into my house. You haven't brought any of them other hoes here in the five years since you quit school. Whores, not hoes. And they're all my friends anyway. Oh, God knows how to give me a gift. A worthless son. Now that's comedy. Mom. Mom, you said you needed something? Go ahead. Do what you always do. Leave.
So, what were you two talking about? Mom, why is he here? I thought you said he was going to be gone. I didn't want him to be here. I'm the one that told him you were coming with your new friend. But don't let him bother you. You know he's sick. <sighs> yeah, about that. You think he can leave soon? I really wanted you to meet Dee. Plus, it's something I need to tell you alone. Well, he did say that he was going to the bar later to meet up with his, um, friend. But he promised to be here to meet your friend. Oh, really? Mom, you always lying for him. Why can't he just leave? So he still sleep with that ugly woman? Gosh. Here, look. Take these out there and make small talk. I'll fix you a plate and we can see if your father wants some. Aren't you going somewhere soon? Not soon enough. Ooh. Promised your mama to meet your friend. When she come here, I got, I got shit to do, man. But mom wanted to know if you wanted something to eat. I guess. What's... So, how them boys doing? Then your team. That's for sure. Hey. Hey. Remember that game? You had like seven sacks? Actually, it was eight. But yeah, the Panthers there. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Why don't you make yourself useful? Do I have a file underneath the uh, table here? Oh. What's that? You got a tramp stamp? What? No, I don't. And what the hell is that? <laughs> it's just a tattoo. Sure looks like a tramp stamp to me. Why you got something negative to say all the time? What do you want me to say? Your disappointment as a son? Everything I've done with my time on this earth? Working jobs. Picking up cans. Six. And sometimes, seven days a week. Saying yes to men, I know I'm better than kissing ass. When I should be cashing checks, I polish my stupid ass smile. You see my grin? Huh? Huh? And son, now I'm ready to give all I to you. All you have to do is act like you've got some goddamn sense. James, don't be that way. Don't be what way? That's his problem. You babied him so much that he cries over everything. I mean, what the hell does it look like when you have a grown ass man crying over some dumb shit? This guy could have been the starting linebacker for at least the Cleveland Browns. He says, oh no, Dad. I think I want to paint. Paint my ass. That's my job. After working on it for 20 years. You don't see me crying. Do you? Huh? I'll answer it for you. You don't. All oh, right! I don't know who you're raising your voice at in my house. You better calm that shit down. My son, son of the associate pastor, got a tramp stamp on his midriff. Oh, you got the new one? Let me see. Oh, you know about this? Mama's boy. Hush. Let me, oh, my rib. This thing with you and Dee must be serious. Yeah, it kind of is. Matching tattoos. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Sounds pretty stupid to me, you dummy. Junior, why don't you go on up and unpack? All right. Okay. James, that's enough drinking for today. James, you need to be nice to Junior. You know he's going through a lot since he lost his job. And that's enough drinking for now.
I don't know what you're talking about. He says he's still working. So he must be. You can tell me anything about not having a job? So he you, must be working. You know I told you. You are so mean to him that he feels like he can't even tell you anything. He needs to man up. Ago, you didn't answer, um, but don't rush. Something just came up. But hit me as soon as you can. Bye. Oh, that must be D. Come on. Can't be, and it's a guy. Oh, well, Ginger did say he had some other friends coming. I think they were going out later. Uh, come on, stop looking. Open the door. God, you must be Mr. James. How are you? Ooh. Hi. Hi. Miss Buford Jr. Um, yes, sir. You got manners. You can teach my son a few things. <laughs> okay. So, uh, real question is, you like football? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you mind if I... Thank you, thank you. Uh, who's your favorite team? Think about it long and hard. Mm. Don't need to, sir. How about them cowboys? Hey, you want a drink? Sure. Janie! Yeah? Drink! Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Jenny, Junior's mom. Nice to Dorian. see you. Nice to meet you. Well, excuse me, I'll go tell Junior here. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Didn't know I know. Okay, okay. So, how do you know Junior? Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> now, that, now that you ask, mm -hmm. um, we used to work together. Oh, yeah, so you went on Marty tape, so. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm a project manager, other side of the department, um, and you know, James, he is artsy, but you know, I've told him that, you know, art is nothing if you can't pay the bills. It's a good answer. Management. Mm-hmm. That's job security. Yeah. You think you could get a junior in on that? I think I can. He has to put the paintbrushes down for his stuff. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Can you come down and help me set the table? Sure. Good. Oh, we've got to set another place setting. You had another friend show up. I did? Who? Some guy. Mom, I need to tell you something. Tell me later. The food's getting cold. You know, your dad and he are getting along pretty well. They're, they're talking pretty good. Come on. Come on, fellas, it's time to eat. Hey, I think we can win the division this year. I really do. Yeah, maybe if we get a better coach. Oh, really? You think so? Uh, I kind of disagree. Junior, your friend's smart. If your girlfriend's this smart, you might have half a chance, huh? So you didn't... I have to make a call. Here's the silverware. Hey, where are you? Okay, hurry up. What's up? I'm okay. good. Are you okay? 
Look, I already know what you're thinking. You don't know what I'm thinking. Listen, why are you tripping? We only gotta be here a little while longer and then we head to the concert. A little while longer? Get your hands off me. You were, you were full of shit. Yeah. Oh. So you had your girl pull up. That's why you had me come with a separate car. So she could come and pick us so she could come and pick us up. Look, I told you I'm gonna tell them. Just back up. We discussed this months ago. What's the hold up? You told me not to worry about anything. Yeah, I know what I told you, but it's complicated. Complicated. <clears throat> I was in your parents' house, like a damn fool, talking to your father like he knew who the hell I was. All you had to say was, Mom, Dad, this is Dorian, my boyfriend. How complicated is that? Listen, it's not that easy. You see how old-fashioned my parents are. I can't tell them like that. But we told my parents. Hell, you even told him before I got there. That's different. Looks like I was talking about something complicated. Your boyfriend is tripping. Oh, she's here. Go on, James. I'll get this. Hello? Yes? Yes, I remember. Look, I told you that we're not interested right now. Excuse me? D. <laughs> no, sir. I'm D. And this is my boyfriend. 